Hello! Welcome to a new Wrestlemania weekend edition of What the Wrestling! I'm going to be doing this in three parts and have very little editing. So, maybe no editing. We'll see. Oh, I'm starting with NXT's Stand and Deliver. I recorded earlier this day, uh, today, so you can imagine how hard it was going to be to put this out. It's kind of why, why I didn't want no edit. <laughs> why I didn't want no. Why I didn't want any editing. Anyway, let's just get started. This technically was part of the pre-show, but I can, since it was billed as part of the event leading up to this, I'm going to count it as actually part of the event. But our opening match was the team of was the team of Chase U and Tyler Bates to, working together versus the group called the Schism, which is. Uh, for the control of Chase U. Chase U was, of course, fighting for the right to not be run by a cult. And, uh, there was a moment where Duke Hudson had his loyalty questioned, and it seemed like he was actually going to join the uh, schism, even taking off his Chase U shirt and putting on his... putting on a new schism shirt. And it was all looking really bad for Chase U, and uh, all this nasty stuff, and then it turned out that was a complete fake out, and Duke Hudson turned on the schism, which led Chase U to win the rights to continue to run their own school the way they want. Fun little match. They have decent talent over on NXT. It was a good match. It was fine. Fun. Next up was a ladder match for the NXT Women's Title. Six competitors, six ladies, Zoe Stark, Andy Hartwell, Gigi Dolan, Tiffany Stratton, Lyra Val Valkyria, and Roxanne Perez. Yay, Josh, you did it all at once without stammering over your own words like an idiot. Yay! Right, yes, ladder match for the women's title. Brutality all around. These poor women put themselves through hell. But in the end, it was Dexter Loomis making his return to carry his battered wife up the ladder to, to the top to retrieve the belt. And as a result, as a result Index was the winner. So, there we go. The next match saw Tony D'Angelo and Stax, is the under underdawn or underboss or something like that. Anyway, the Team Mafia versus the Creed Brothers and Gallus. It was it was a close match displaying everyone's talent. It was. It came together real nicely. It was for the tag team, male tag team titles. As it turns out, the returning coffee brother, Joe Coffee, completing the all three members of Gallus. His shock return led to the. Win Sorry led to Gallus retaining the titles. All these multiple man matches, my goodness. Because next up was a five man challenge for the North American title. American? I pronounced that weird. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the match was very chaotic as the competitors Ela Dragonoff, Wesley, Axiom, Dragon Lee, and JD McDonough went on it uh, with a, a chaotic fervor, a absolute mess of a match in a good way. And in that chaos, Wesley 
managed to actually keep his title. Next up, we had an unsanctioned match, meaning WWE is not liable for anything that happens. Against, uh, between Johnny Gargano and Grayson Waller. Anything goes in an unsanctioned match, obviously. We had foreign objects, low blows, they threw everything at each other. But... But ultimately, it was Johnny Wrestling that got the win by a submission. Also, they had a touching uh, return at the very end of The Way, as Johnny Gargano, his wife Candice Del Rey, and uh, Indy Hartwell and Dexter Loomis meeting together up on the opening gate area. For like a big old group hug, it was fantastic. If you followed NXT, that, that gave you nice warm feelings. I completely forgot about this next one. I I forgot it was going to happen, so I thought it was going to go right into the main event. But no, we had one more title match before the main event. And this was for the women's tag team belts. The team of Alba Fire and Ela Dawn versus Fallon Henry and Kiana James, the champions. At one point, Kiana attempted to cheat to win, but was stopped by Fallon uh, from doing so, because that's not the right way to do things. And that ultimately led the challengers to win the match and the championships, uh, this plays into the drama that's been going on in NXT between the previous champions. And uh, we'll have to see how that turns out, I guess. But now it's on to the main event for the NXT Championship. Yeah, that was awkward, I'm sorry about that. Moving on! We had Carmelo Hayes versus champion Braun Breaker. Carmelo wanted to prove that Mellow Don't Miss against the Puppy Face Gremlin. Trick Williams came in. Trick Williams got involved. Stammering over my own words again. He got involved, attempted to cheat on Mellow's behalf, but was ejected from ringside rather than disqualified. Because that's no way to end the championship match. But anyway. And that match showcased, showcased, showcased the the talent of these wrestlers. And if either one were to be bumped up to WWE tomorrow, as early as tomorrow, they're ready. Either one of these could probably make the jump to WWE with no problem. But, uh... After accidentally knocking out the ref, after Braun accidentally knocked out the ref with a spear that was got Carmelo, but also clipped the ref and took him, took him down. But anyway, after knocking out the ref by accident, Trick Williams returned to help Melo out again. And Melo used this interference to ultimately get the pin and take the belt off of Braun Breaker. Becoming the new NXT champion. This was a fun card. This was a great event, I think. Uh, of course, it could do better, but we're talking, we're talking about rookies here. All the NXT people are technically in training. Uh, so, any uh, lackluster moments, uh, you could attest to that, but... For, even so, it was a really good event, I think. And a good start to WrestleMania weekend. I will be covering uh, Night 1 and Night 2 of WrestleMania in the same format as well. Putting up Night 1 of WrestleMania tomorrow. Uh, and then the following day for Night 2. This is 
pretty ambitious of me, but I wanted to do something really special here, and I think I can do it, especially with minimum editing. Uh, all I'm really doing is taking notes, and I watched the event, took notes, and, and then pretty much recite those notes on camera, and so I'm sorry if I did flub up the, uh, anything, because uh, it's, I don't know if it's half, uh, it's kind of a half speech impediment, half something wrong with my brain. But anyway, uh, I stammer over my own words quite often. You might see it when you watch the, uh, discussion videos that I have with the guys. But, um, yeah. Anyway. As I, I'll see you next time. I'll see you uh, next tomorrow if you decide to watch that. And I'll talk about what happened in WrestleMania Night 1. Uh, until then, and, and you know, when that happens, I'll see you in the ring.